Good morning, class. Good morning, mom. Good morning, po. Oh, okay, to begin our lesson, let us have Miss Heronaga to lead the prayer. Okay, and then in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings that we receive in our life. Please guide us in our discussions for today. Give us the intelligence so we can understand fully our life. Amen. Amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Miss Hernaga. So before we proceed to our lesson, let us first check the attendance. So we're going to take a screenshot of our meeting. Please open your camera. Only to those students who can avail to open. No pressure to those who have slow internet connection. Okay, in the count of three. Three, two, one. So today is Monday, a new day to learn new things. But before we proceed to our lesson, let us first have a fun and simple activity. Okay, class, we're going to have this simple activity, which is entitled, Guess the Word. Do you know four picks one word? Yes, Paul. Okay, so it, it's going to be just like that, but with a twist. So let's begin. So this is the game mechanics. Number one, you should guess the word that links the four pictures together in one minute. And each correct answer carries one point. Okay, um, just a reminder that there is no searching allowed and the game master's decision is final. Okay, may we have fun. So let's begin. So this is the first set of pictures. The clue, it has nine letters. So what do you think is the word? We have here a butterfly. Flowers. Anyone? Ma'am. Heronaga yes, po. Yes po. Um, I think, ma'am, this is falls under the mutualism. Mutualism? Okay, let's see. Okay, the correct answer is mutualism. Very good, Miss Heronaga. So the next set of pictures, it contains fishes and underwater objects. So the clue, it starts with letter C. So anyone, what do you think is the word? Miss Aldovino? I think it's commensalism. Commensalism. So let's see if it's correct. Commensalism is correct. Very good, Miss Aldovino. Okay, next set of pictures. Okay, so what do we have here? The clue, it has 10 letters. So what do you think is the word that links these four pictures together? Anyone? Ma'am. Yes, Miss again. Parasitism. Parasitism. So let's see if it's correct. Parasitism is correct. Very good, Miss Aldovino. Now the next set of pictures. So what do you think is the word that links these four together? So the clue, it has 11 letters. So anyone would like to answer? How about Miss Heronaga? Mm, predation. Predation? An another answer. Miss Aldovino, do you have another answer? Competition. Competition. Okay. Okay. Let's see the correct answer. Competition is correct. So who answered competition? Mama Kopo. Very good. Okay. Our last set of pictures. What do you think is the word that links this word together? The clue it is starts with the letter C. Ma'am. Okay. Um, I think it is cooperation. Cooperation. So let's see if it's correct. Cooperation is correct. Very good, Miss Hernaga. 
So congratulations, class. I think that you already know our lesson for today. You're such a word genius. Einstein is trembling. Okay, class, you are now familiar with the words that are linked to our topic. And our topic is entitled Ecological Relationship. So, what's your idea about this title? Can somebody share your idea, share their ideas? Ma'am. Yes, Miss Romina. For me, when we say ecological relationship, it is something to do with the interaction between uh, or um, between organisms in the environment. Thank you. At the end of the lesson, the student must be able to one, develop science process skills such as observing, inferring, comparing, and communicating. Number two, create a blog that discusses the different kinds of ecological relationships that exist in their locality. Number three, appreciate the value of interaction and connection of each organism in an ecosystem. So the first relationship that we have is the mutualism. Um, can somebody read what is the definition of mutualism? Ma'am, me. Mutualism, an association between organisms of two different species in which each member benefits. Okay. So this is an example of the relationship of mutualism. As you can see in the picture, there are birds and the flowers, the bees and the flowers. In this relationship, the bird benefit because it um, it acquired their food and for, from the, for the flower, the pollen is spread. Okay, so this is another example of mutualism. The more eel gets a clean mouth and the cleaner fish gets a meal. So they are both um, benefited. Can you give example of mutualism relationship? Anyone? Yes, Miss Aldomido. Um, um, the ants and the aphids because um, ants protect the aphids while the aphids uh, provide the honeydew for, for the ants. Thank you for that wonderful answer. So for the next one, commensalism. Commensalism is a relationship where one species benefits while the other species remain unaffected. unaffected. So compared to the the previous relationship they are both they are both benefited while in here they the uh, the one side is only benefited while the other is unaffected so let's see some example so this is an example of commensalism one species uses a second organism for housing such as a small mammals or birds that live in host in trees or orchids which live in trees. As you can see in the picture, the uh, other organism is housing the tree for them to have shelter. Next example is the clownfish that gets their protection from the sea animal and the animal is unaffected. So the next relationship that we have is the parasitism. It is defined as a relationship where one organism benefits, which is the parasite, while the other species depends on, on the host and which is it being harmed. So this is the example of the parasites that you can also encounter in your houses. Some, these are the ticks and fish that live in a host, animals fur, bite the animal and drink its blood or parasites. So we commonly see this kind of organisms in our pets, dogs. So they are called parasite and the organism that are being harmed are the host. They are parasite because they, they depend on the host for them to have food. While the other was being harmed. The next example is the tomato hornworm with wasp, with wasp eggs. The tomato was being infested. Well, the, the hornworm gets its food from the tomato. Can you give example of parasitism relationship? Ma'am. Yes, Mrs. Spirit. I think one of the example of parasitism are the worms 
inside the vegetables, such as in eggplants, and also inside the human body. Very good, Miss Espirito. Okay, let's move on from the or the next. So the next relationship is the competition. It is a relationship between organisms in which one is harmed when both are trying to use the same resource related to growth, reproduction, or mobility. So for them to survive, they have to compete into other organisms so they can get their resources of food. And okay, let's see the some example of competition relationship. As you can see in the picture, two wild dogs known as those fight over a carcass. The carcass is a resource, something both organisms need to survive. So they fight for each other, for territory, and for the resources that they need to survive. Can you give example of competition relationship? Anyone? Ma'am, yung pong lion and cheetah, they are hunt, uh, compi competing for food and place po. Okay, thank you, Miss Aldovina. So the next one is the cooperation. It can be defined as behaviors that provide a benefit to the recipient, but can also be beneficial or costly to the actor. So let's see some examples. So as you can see, the ant and the bees work together. This is an example of cooperation because they are working together and threats from people, animals, and other ant colonies. Ants have even been shown to group together to create traps to ensure the colony survives flooding. Okay, for me to know that you really understand our topic, click the link I provide from quizzes. And the students who will get the highest score will receive 50 pesos low. Sent. You may now start answering. Okay, based on the result of the quiz, I may conclude that all of you learned from this today discussion. But we need to still summarize the topic we had. So anyone in the class who is willing to summarize our discussion a while ago? So anyone in the class who is willing to summarize our discussion a while ago? No one? So ecological relationship is fun topic to learn and it's important to understand the different types of it. So according to what we discuss, when we say ecological relationship, it is ref it refers to the interaction between among organisms within their environment. So 
there are types of ecological relationship. It, there are mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, competition, and cooperation. So, first, when we say mutualism, it is an association between organisms of two different species in which each member benefits. For example, ants protect the aphids while the aphids provide honeydew for the ants. So, next is commensalism. So, commensalism is a symbiotic relationship between two organisms of different species in which one derives some benefits while the other one is unaffected. Next is what we called parasitism. So, when we say parasitism, um, it is a form of symbiosis in which one species benefits at the expense of another species. It is similar to do with the pred um, predation, but acts more slowly than predators. And the difference between them is they may not always kill the host. And the next one, ecological relationship, is what we call competition. So the common example of competition is um, the cheetah and lion is hunting on the savanna, competing for food and place. So competition refers to a relationship between organisms in which one is harm, harmed when both are trying to use the same resource related to their growth, reproduction, and survivability. And last one is what we called cooperation. So cooperation is the act of working or acting together. Or the, the best example or the common example that we have in our discussion is the ants and bees. They work together to provide um, their place, their food, in order to survive. That's the summary of our topic, ecological relationship. For a skill target, um, the class will divide in eight groups. They will make a role-playing of ecological relationship assigned to them. For example, predation, mutualism, commensalism. Then, after the role-play, one member should summarize all the important concepts that includes in the ecological relationship assigned to them. That's clear? So, I prepare rubrics for the role play and I will give it to you after our class. Okay, for product target. They will create or you will create a group blog that discusses the different kinds, different kinds of ecological relationship that exists in their locality. As I said, that exists in their locality. The vlog duration is minimum of 5 minutes and 7 minutes maximum. Okay. So here is the rubrics again for um, product target. For effective target, uh, you will create a poster that shows the value of interaction and connection of each organism in an ecosystem. So here's the rubrics for effective target. And thank you for attending. God bless and keep safe. Goodbye, ma'am. Bye.